this whole thing is a mess. Is a mess. Now, the next two years, I believe, you know, first of all, we have to ask ourselves the question, what does this all mean? What does it all mean? What did we see happen yesterday? You know, I already, I, I, I already could tell. I already know there are some people that are saying, Anita, I'm not even trying to hear you. I've been in a good mood all day today. <laughs> this is the best mood I've been in for the past two years or so. And really, probably in the past six years since Obama, you know, originally got elected. I don't, you're not going to mess with my mood. All right. You can continue walking as a blind sheep. But it is my duty as a watchman on the wall to tell you what the Lord wants us to see and know concerning the next two years. We have to know right off the bat, Obama was not phased today during his little press conference because he knows he's not going to be stopped. Listen, can we be real here? <laughs> we already have seen rhinos, Republicans in name only. We have already seen many in the GOP party willing to compromise. They're willing to compromise in illegal immigration, abortion, same-sex marriage. We've also seen, listen, we've also seen a spirit of stupor that has infiltrated the GOP. It literally is a spirit of stupor. If they you know, they see all the crimes, they see all the laws that have been broken by the President of the United States of America where he really could have been impeached already. In all reality, if this was a righteous administration, if we were not living in the times that we were living in, Obama would have been impeached already. As a matter of fact, Obama wouldn't have been elected. But the reason why he was elected and the reason why there's a spirit of stupor is because of the hours that we're living. And we're living in the last days. And we need to understand this. Yes, the GOP swept. They, they swept last night. Landslide victories all over the place. However, we may very well see the worst two years in American history as of last night. Obama's not planning to listen to Congress. He's not planning to listen to Senate. He's already being fed. Listen, for the, we have to understand this. He's been fed for the past six years, and even before that. Remember, he's a, uh, a U.S. constitutional, uh, and um, he, he, he's, an, he's a U.S. constitutional scholar. He, he actually, uh, you know, that was his major in college. Uh, he actually taught that in college, and there was a reason why he has learned about the U.S. Constitution and what he can and cannot do and how far he can go. And he's, he's surprised he's even been able to go as far as he already has been without any resistance. Yeah, we talk about it, but I'm talking about resistance at the higher level. Nobody stopped him. There hasn't been a coup. Uh, there's been America. There's been so many things, the scandals that have been exposed, and 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 how it's all led to the White House, and he still has a job. He knows he's not going to be stopped. He's not concerned about it whatsoever. He's not planning to listen to Congress. He's not planning to listen to Senate. His true colors, oh, they're going to emerge in the next two years. You know, as a matter of fact. Talk radio host Mark Levin, he joined Sean Hannity on Fox News last night. And uh, I wasn't last night. It was about a week and a half ago or so, uh, uh, October 21st. He joined Sean Hannity on Fox News, and he actually said something that I, he, he, he sees, at least. He says something that not many people are saying, as, as far as them having a large platform, and they have the opportunity to say it. He said... Obama is to go full Mussolini soon. Levin 
Mark Levin and Hannity mostly focus on Democrats and President Barack Obama when they took the opportunity to talk about the midterm elections. Again, this was October 21st, 2014. Mark Levin predicted President Barack Obama, who to this point has been a statist, he said, would go full Mussolini after the midterms. He went on to say since he has no more elections to worry about after that. So he'll just further screw up the country. This is a quote from Mark Levin. Just to let you know, Benito Mussolini was a dictator. He was a social... Well, let, let me give you some uh, a quick synopsis as to Mussolini. Because what Mark Levin said wasn't just, uh, you know, like... Uh, uh, he, was, he wasn't just insulting. He wasn't trying to be crass. No, he was speaking some, some truth. <laughs> Mussolini was born in 1883 in Italy. He was an ardent socialist as a youth, following in his father's political footsteps. Sounds eerily familiar. He was expelled by the party for his support of World War I. In 1919, he created the Fascist Party, eventually making himself a dictator in Italy. He held all the power in Italy. He overextended his forces during World War II and was eventually killed by his own people uh, in 1945. So when Mark Levin said that Obama's going to go full Mussolini come the midterm elections, there was some truth in that statement. Because he knows not only he has no more elections to worry about, he knows he's not going to be stopped. And, listen... We're talking about the fact that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, right? But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Ephesians 6. The powers, the evil powers that are working behind the administration. And listen, there, there are, I'm not, we have to understand that we're living in the last days. This is Bible prophecy. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Now we can see Obama all day long, right? And we could be really annoyed because we see him lying through his teeth. And we could see a very sinister spirit behind that. But that sinister spirit is an actual ungodly spirit. And it's infiltrated the White House. It's infiltrated the land of America. And it's about to go <laughs> full Mussolini. It's about to get full socialists up in here. The America has already been uh, being stripped away. Like an onion being peeled. And now in the next two years... What is going to happen? Yes, the GOP has taken control virtually. They're in charge virtually, is what I mean. If anything, the Lord allowed it on purpose so that He could show you that no man can stop the work of the rise of the fourth kingdom, the new world order. I want to show you some segments that I took the time to put together earlier today. Stay tuned. You're going to see some changes on the screen. That's on my end. It's going to be some powerful segments.